Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of Air Holler with MUR37. Uh, we're up here at, uh, where were we? Uh, Defiance. Defiance, that's right. That's where I realized after I'd gone there, there's actually another job. So we could have done two jobs at once. Which, that really sucks. I wish I would have known that. Uh, so there we are. We're going to take this trip back. We're going to go over to Auburn and uh, come back to Huntington. And after that, I think we'll... So far, what I think I'll do is I'll do these two jobs at once. Pr try to do that LL22 one first, then come over to KMCX and Monticello. And then I want to try and go from over there and try and fly the over here and take these uh, at the same time if I can. Uh, by that time, uh, we may have generated more jobs. There might be something else you know, in this area that we can do instead. But that's the plan for right now. So, we need to go over to Auburn. Let's go to My Jobs. Pays good, 8600 bucks. So that's good. Take the Baron, of course. So it's just 29 miles over there. I'll delete the second part. Alright, we got 771 miles. So we're good on fuel. Uh, so I'm going to go off and fly it, and I uh, will meet you in the cockpit. Alright everybody, oops. Get this thing ready to go. Flip our... Unpause it first. Flip our battery on. Our pump. Put our panel lights on. Our mixture. All right, the left song, right pump. All right, right sides on. Football on the beaker, beacon, <laughs> beaker. Uh, the taxi lights, landing lights, prop sink. Uh, it's a really short flight, so. Like 4,000 feet. I mean, we're not going very far at all. So let's get this GPS set up and out of the way. Over here. And we are ready to head to the runway. So let's go there now. Is that our taxi line? Here we go. Taxi over here to the right. I thought we had a... Yeah, there's a taxi way to the right, I believe, before to get to the runway. That's what I was counting on. Maybe not. have to taxi down the runway. There is no taxi. Taxi way to the right. Alright, let's stop here and flip on our strobe. Is it okay to, you know, enter a runway like right here and just go straight left? It should be because look, we're not that far down. So I'm gonna turn around actually. Yeah, screw it. We'll just go up here.
just open these cowlings. Props all the way up. Alright, we're ready to take off. basically straight in. 9 and 27, 881 feet up. 9 or 27. So we're going 27 obviously. Just dead west. I don't know if there's any approaches. Let's see. GPS 27. I select it. Did I select that? I didn't select that. GP20 is 27. Like... Okay, now it's loaded. We really could just go ahead and activate it. But I'll wait. Actually, let's not even go to 4,000. Let's go to like 3,500. I mean, we're so close. We're only at 25 miles out, 8 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up just for a minute, second too. Back to normal speed. 
unless that's a plane. I don't think so. I think this just means we're high. sell it and then import the Carinado and buy it back and everything. It's just a waste of money. And I don't plan on flying the Barrens very long. You know, next up is the caravan. You never know, I might have to fly this for a little while actually. Because I think the caravan is like a million dollars. I'm not going to buy one obviously, I'm going to lease it, but quite expensive if I remember correctly. I have a real habit of a uh, I'm always like, okay, I'm gonna pay off this plane, and I'm like, well, why pay it off? I'll just go take a lease on another plane, get even more money, you know, from that. I keep doing that, and I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna pay this one off. Oh no, I'll go put that towards another plane. End up with a bunch of leases, but it's cool. Jeez, that's around like crazy again. Maybe in this game, I'll try and pay off more planes. Probably not. If I say that now, I'll probably end up not doing that. But I definitely will try to pay off more planes as we go. I, mean, I must have had 17 planes that I didn't even have paid off. It was crazy. Big monthly bill, but geez, you're bringing in so much money. When you got 747s, you know, flying jobs, you know, bringing over a million dollars each job, I'm just crazy money. I'm not sure how realistic that is, money-wise. I don't know how much those planes make a flight. I got a bunch of libraries for the 747s as well. I think the one I was flying the most with, I had a library of a Kalita Air or Kalita or something. 
which I believe is a cargo company out of Michigan. They have a few bases around the world and they fly a lot of 747s. So I was using that library. And I believe we have vehicles in our airport. <laughs> that looked like that truck drove right through that building. Not the earlier they were getting really close. Yeah, look at them flying through that building. <laughs> I guess our best bet is not get too close to that building. Shut down, I'll meet you back in air hauler. We'll pick up this cargo. Alright, we're here in air hauler. It was a quick 10 minute flight. Uh, 187, or sorry, 180.7. So it was a nice little greaser. Alright, 211 miles back to Huntington. Let's go ahead and fly this. I think we've got more than enough uh, fuel. Yeah, because I don't want to put too much fuel in this, because I'm going to try and do those two flights at the same time, so we'll need a, as little fuel as possible. So this should work out fairly nice, because I want to have to buy all that fuel and then dump it. So everything's loaded up. Guys, I'll see you back in the cockpit. We'll fly to Huntington. Alright, we're back. Turn on the battery. Left pump. Engine lights on, right pump, start up the right engine. Turn off that pump. take it to 10,000 and then we'll take it on up. Once you get up to close to 10,000 feet it starts uh, the speed at, at that climbs is a lot. It goes way down. I'm not sure if that's because of the how thin the air is or what exactly is the cause of that. But let's get this GPS set up out the way. Realize we never closed the cowlings on our last flight. I keep forgetting stuff like that. Let's see, they are closed. I was just looking at. Did I see something? Are you supposed to cross feed? It just seems like that. I don't know. I'll leave it alone. I know if you get low on a tank, you can do that, but I don't know. Just going down here. I think we can go to the left and get on the runway way down there. Let me check. Yeah, it looks like it. So let's do that.
up. We're getting close, though. Iron pilots. Really want to get this company started. We may just barely have enough money to buy another Baron uh, when we hire a pilot. So uh, I think we'll hire two. I think we should just barely have enough. I think we have to make sixteen to eighteen thousand dollars more than we have right now. Uh, when, once you minus eighteen grand, you factor that in. Uh, we have to make sixteen to eighteen thousand more than we have right now. That could have even be, been before the last flight. So if you figure we have what, four more flights or something, mean to make about four grand more? Something like that. But even if we don't have it right then, you know, it'll be the next few flights from when we hire our pilot. It'll be exciting though. I like hiring pilots. Means we're moving our company quite along. It seems really slow so far. I don't know about you all if you're watching all of them. It seems kind of slow. But that's how it is with this game. Then all of a sudden you, know, you got 20 pilots. It's hard to keep track of them all. You gotta keep them all flying, get them jobs every day, several jobs every day. All that. Alright. So we're all lined up. Let me bring up this GPS so I can see. There we go. Alright. We're ready to take off. Let's go.
we're 70 miles out. Uh, we're going to Huntington, so I already know all that. Uh, we're going to land on runway 12, so it's 109.9. Also, we're going to start going down. I'll go to about 7,500 feet at first. I'm not since we're in a newer plane, I'm not really sure where to start descending and all that. I've been descending too fast. Not too quickly, so... I'll give that a, a try. Uh, set up my heading real quick. Even though I'm not going to use it just yet. Somewhere around. So we're descending down to 7,500. I'm going to speed this back up. Be back in just a minute.
switch it to over to back to GPS. Over four thousand feet. Take it down to about thirty seven hundred. Uh when actually take it down to three thousand actually now I think of it. how fast we are going. up again. I'm going from side to side. This is the runway that the uh, Marshall plane crash was on. It was coming in runway 12. I can never remember where it was. This was it. Alright, autopilot off.
plexiglass, rub off. I can't remember where I saw that was oh, wrong button. Wikipedia or something that was you know, lists how many flights there are every day. I think that was maybe where I saw that stat. I haven't flown out of here since probably late like ninety eight. Spring of ninety eight, I think was it. You know there are daily flights out here. Uh, I think Myrtle Beach in the summer. I, I think they have one. Uh, uh, there are flights to Charlotte, North Carolina. I think there's one to Chicago. When I flew, we just flew a little connector flight up to Cincinnati, which is only it's about a three-hour drive or so, but not all that far. Uh, actually, I think actually maybe the last one we flew, nah, maybe it was Cincinnati, and then down onto Daytona Beach, something like that. It's not it's hard to remember now. All right, let's get this thing parked. the taxi line. Where is the taxi line? I'm go over here and find one. Alright, I'll park it right here. This is good enough. Go ahead and Shut it off. I don't know why you can hit panel, it automatically flips that to the other side. Whichever one it is. Don't get that. Alright, but here we are in Huntington. Let's uh, meet you back in Air Hauler. We'll unload this thing and get paid. Alright, here we are back in Air Hauler. 129.18. Only used 175 pounds of fuel. Thought we'd use more than that. Go over to our fleet. Unload this thing. Okay, good job. Let's go up to finance. I don't know why that thing's doing that now. It doesn't say monthly overhead. Maybe that's the problem. I can't figure it out. <laughs> so reputation 52. So we need three more percent. So six more flights. Current cash is 64. So when we take off that 18, they'll leave us with that 46,000, I think. Yeah, 46,000. And with the Beach Baron, you need, so we need 8,000 more right now. So we'll have plenty of money by the time this is done. We'll have plenty of money uh, to buy another Baron, I should say, to do that. I don't know why this is still showing if it's not on there. Alright, where are we? Oh yeah, we're at Huntington, I forgot. Alright, so the, I think the next thing to do... Oh, uh, no, that's... That's no good. I, we're, I can't believe we never saw the Defiance one. 625... Another one we could do, I mean... These two leave Huntington... Actually, yeah, that one's not good. But that's only 600 pounds. That's only, I mean, if we could get up there, do a job, and then fly over here, that's two jobs. And these are two jobs. Hmm, that might be a really good idea by me. To fly these two, or sorry, that one, and this one. I believe we'll do that one first, and then come over here to LL22. Actually, I think that was our plan, wasn't it? Either way, so we'll fly that because that one's. Wait a second. Be that one and that one. I'm sorry. I was. I keep seeing this. I wish I would take that Elizabethton one off. So we'll fly these two. So that's three three hundred eighty six pounds. That's six. So we'll have what a little over a thousand pounds. 
Then after that, we might fly LL22 first and then come over to KMCX. And then we'll fly over here and bring these two jobs back. So we'll try and look at something like that. That's Charleston Honey. Yeah, alright. So we'll try and do that. Uh, that'll be in the next episode, though. Next few episodes. So uh, check back in later, and we'll see you on the next flight.